I'll show you how to test for events in Foundry. Here I have a contract and we have two functions. I have a function called transfer and transfer mini. Inside the function transfer, it simply emits the event transfer. And inside the function transfer mini, it emits the event transfer multiple times. But in Foundry, how do you test whether an event was emitted or not? So I've created a file called event.t.soul and we'll be writing our test inside here to test whether an event is emitted or not. We'll be writing two tests. We'll test for a single event, and then later we'll test for multiple events. Let's start by writing the code for testing for a single event. So what we're going to do is we're going to call the function transfer. It's going to emit the event transfer. And then inside here, we'll write some tests to make sure that a transfer event was emitted. To test whether an event is emitted or not, we're going to be calling the function bm.expectEmit. It's going to take in four inputs. The first input, check topic one, tells Foundry whether it should compare the first index. Likewise, check topic two tells Foundry whether it should check for index two. And check topic three tells Foundry whether it should compare the data for index three. And then the last input, check data, tells Foundry whether it should compare the rest of the data emitted by the event. To test for events, first we need to tell Foundry which data to check. And this is done by calling bm.expectEmit. And then we tell Foundry which data to check by passing in these parameters. Next, we emit the event that we expect to receive. And then lastly, we call the actual function that should emit the event. If the event emitted in step 3 matches the event emitted in step 2, then our test will pass. Otherwise, our test will fail. Okay, so let me show you an example. Let's start with step 1. For this example, we'll check for index 1, index 2. Since the event transfer, notice that there are two index data. So back in our test, we can only check for two indexes, topic 1 and topic 2. And then we'll also check for the rest of the data. So to do that, what we need to type here is bm.expect emit. We want to tell Foundry to compare the event that we're going to emit and the data that is going to be emitted when we call the function transfer on this contract. And we want to tell Foundry to compare the first indexed data that was emitted. So here we'll type true. And then we also want to compare the second indexed data. So we'll also tell true. For the transfer event, only two data are indexed, the address from and address to. So there is no third data that is being indexed. So here we'll type false, telling Foundry that we don't need to check for the third index data. And we also want to tell Foundry to check for the rest of the data. So we'll put the last parameter as true. So that completes the first step. We're telling Foundry which data to check. Next, we'll emit the expected event. To do that, first I'm going to declare the same event transfer inside the test contract as the event that is declared inside the contract that we're going to be testing. Here I have an event called transfer. And inside the test, I also redeclare the event transfer. And we will emit the event transfer. Let's say that we expect the event to be emit transfer from will be address this. And let's say two will be address one, two, three and for the amount four, five, six. So here we're telling Foundry we expect this event to be emitted when we call the function transfer on step 3. So step 3 is actually calling the function that will emit the event. The function that we're going to be calling is the function transfer. So here I'll type first the name of the contract. The name of the contract I named it e. So say e dot transfer from will be address this to will be address one two three for the amount four five six okay let's run the test so i'll open my terminal and then we'll execute the test by typing forge test dash dash match path test the name of the test is event.t.so then we will also output some details of the test so say dash bbb and then execute the test and our test passes. And just to show you that we can make this test fail, we'll change the actual data that was evaded. Let's say instead of saying the two addresses one to three, we'll change it to one to four. Save the file. So here Foundry is expecting that the transfer event will be emitted with the data from being address this. Two will be address one to three. 
for the amount 456. But the actual event that's going to be emitted will be from will be address this, to will be address 1 to 4. Notice that here we're saying 2 should be 1 to 3, but the actual 2 will be 1 to 4. And the amount is the same, 456. So if we execute the test, we expect this test to fail. Since the expected two address is 1 to 3, but the actual two address will be 1 to 4. Okay, let's run the test. Open the terminal, execute the test again. And as expected, the test fails. I'll fix the test. And then next, I'm going to show you another example of expect emit. So here we checked for all of the data that was being emitted. But instead, we can compare only some of the data. So what we're going to do is only check for index 1. This means that we're not going to test for the data emitted for index 2 and for the data. So to do that, first I'll copy all of this, paste it here, and then next I'll remove the comments. And then, so this test, we're only going to check for index 1. We're not going to check for index 2. We're not going to check for index 3. And we're not going to check for the rest of the data. So I'll set this to false. And then first, let's see if our test passes with this code. Save the file, execute the test, and our test passes. Now what's going to be different is I'm going to show you that the test still passes even if we change some of the parameters. Here we're only saying that we want to only compare the first data, the first index data, so that would be address this. So as long as this address this matches the address this over here, the test should still pass. So what I'm going to do is maybe change 456 to 999 and change the address to that is being logged to 777. Save the file and then execute the test again. And our test still passes. So what I showed you here is how to test for events, but only checking some of the data. Here we're only checking for the first indexed data. And we're telling Foundry that we don't care what the value was logged for the rest of the data. This will be for index 2, index 3, and the rest of the data. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to test for multiple events. Going back to the event contract, we're going to be calling the function transfer many. And notice that it's going to run a loop and then emit the transfer event multiple times. Inside our test contract, how would we test for multiple events being emitted by a single function? The way to test for multiple event is basically the same as this instruction over here. So I'll copy this, paste it here, and remove the code. So we're going to be following this three steps. Tell Foundry which data to check, and then emit the expected event, and then actually call the function that should emit the event. So to call the function transfer many, we'll first need to prepare the parameters from an array of addresses and the amounts. So let's do that first. We'll prepare array of addresses to to emit. So say address brackets memory, I'll name it to, and this will be equal to new address bracket, and then two. Next, we'll set the two addresses. So I'll say two, the first two will be equal to, let's say address one, two, three. And then the next one, we'll say address one, let's say this will be equal to four, five, six. And then next, we'll prepare the amounts to also emit. So say uint 256 bracket memory amounts will be equal to new uint 256 brackets parentheses 2. We're initializing the array of uints. And then say amounts of 0. Let's say this will be equal to 777. And the next amount, let's initialize it to 888. So now that we have the parameters to pass to the function transfer menu, next let's tell Foundry which data to check. Because we expect two events, we'll need to run a loop. So say for u int i, i less than 2 dot length i plus plus. And then inside here, we'll do what we did over here. So we'll need to execute expect emit and then also the actual emit the event that we expect to be emitted. Paste the code and we're going to be checking for all data index 1, index 2 and the rest of the data. And we will transfer the event from this contract so that will be address this to will be stored in the array 2 of i for the amount amount of i. So this is step 1 and 2 inside here. And then next we actually call the function that should emit the event. So what is that? 
I'm going to be calling the function transfer many. So here I'll type b dot transfer many. First parameter is from. From will be address. This two will be the two array that we prepared over here, and the amounts are the amounts that we prepared over here. Save the file and let's run the test. Open the terminal and then run the test again. And all of our tests pass. So that is how you would test for multiple events. You first tell Foundry which data to check and then emit the events that you expect to receive and then actually call the function that should emit the events.